Hi, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I really hope that you are having a beautiful and an amazing day. If you are new to my channel, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you for all of your love and support. I really appreciate it. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Sagittarius. There is something dark that's constantly trailing you. And you need to be mindful of this. Don't focus on it, but do be mindful of each time there is a blessing. There usually is a battle to accompany that blessing. I always tell you that no spirit, no demon, no entity, no person is going to go and rob an empty house. There is something that you are quickly going towards, but you have this force that is behind you. There is someone that is very close to you, perhaps on your heels that's following you. And they have a tendency to be jealous and envious. And you have the garden and the gate. So what's standing between you and your destiny at this time is possibly people that are in your company who maybe they have a broken heart. Okay. They could be projecting this energy onto you. Someone that you had some type of caring connection with. And you're needing to see this for what it truly is. Open up your spiritual eyes, your third eye and see that. There is a karmic situation here that is causing blockages. It could even be causing some type of financial constraint for you at this time in your life. And it's standing right in front of your door to romance. Okay. Indecision, yeah. There's an, a, a force that keeps entering your energetic field or trying to. And the whole point is to have you indecisive so that you won't move forward completely. Yeah, onto your journey here. There's a strategy, okay? So be mindful of this strategy coming from someone. Here you have the goddess of the moon, okay? There's a strategy here to have you indecisive and in some kind of stalemate energy about your journey. Something that you're passionate about. Strategy. Yeah, all tied up. See? The thinking woman is here in the reverse. And door to personal healing and happiness is also in the reverse with anxiety here. So there is someone here who has ran out of plans or strategies to block your personal healing and happiness. Someone is probably stuck in a state of fear and anxiety because they are not able to walk through personal healing and happiness themselves. This person has run out of ideas about how to somehow have you tied up and to pretty much like block you out of your own destiny. Here, the second chakra and a door to spirit are here. So it's like, you have this strong willpower. You're going into your destiny. You're about to co-create with the most high, with the universe, with the divine. And you have this man holding a heart here. And this magician in the mirror. This gives me very much like Sagittarius energy with the full moon and Sag today. Heavy emphasis on the third chakra and the second chakra. That's going to be your sacral chakra and your solar plexus. All right. Um... Rest and rejuvenation here with the healer of the ages and community. Some of you need to um, be mindful of your surroundings. Envy. There's a group of people. Um, this could be friends, family. It's a group, perhaps of three or more. Within this group, this could have been a group that you were once in. And maybe you're standing your ground. You're speaking up about certain things. Maybe right now you're you're being very authentic and you're sharing something that you're passionate about. You need to be careful of who you are sharing all of your thoughts, your passions, your goals, dreams and desires with, because there are some people who are just not going to go where you're going. The solar plexus here is again with Archangel Samuel. It's like, again, this is your your, your passion, your willpower, that life force like energy. Someone is trying to come up with a plot or plan or strategy to sort of cut you out of that energy here you have it again the thinking woman is in the reverse and the envy card somebody here 
has run out of options of how to send something out to attack you, but it's not going to stop them. And if you give this any kind of power or attention, then you could for sure be at a loss. Okay. Nobody can take anything from you, but what the enemy will do is they will, they will constantly delay things that are supposed to be manifesting in your life. All right. So just be very mindful of that. Sometimes too, this, this energy, this force, it can be your own thought patterns as well. Never forget that. But it's something, it's a monkey on your back that you need to get rid of. It could just be the like fear or you being very indecisive about things. You have the protest card here. It's like you need to pay close attention to the fact that someone is wanting to stand. Like somebody doesn't want you to stand up for yourself. Someone really wants you to feel like you perhaps are inadequate. Okay. I feel like someone is trying to project a lot of depression and paranoia onto you. So that you will have some kind of phobia. So that you will be mad, angry, upset. This is someone here who is very unpleasant. They're hard to deal with. They could be, like I said, really projecting that energy onto you. Because you're in this energy right now of self-love. Where you are trying to enjoy your own sweet dreams. You have a group of people who are trying to spiritually bully you or attack you. These people don't want you to be in this energy of self-love. Someone wants you to be homeless and stressed out. And this could be someone that you were in a friendship with. Relationship. Some of you just have healthy connections coming about. You're connecting with like-minded individuals. You could have a relationship that's coming about. A lot of professional networking and justice being brought to you. So you're running the good race here, perseverance is here, and then coach, daydream. So someone here is thinking a lot about having this brand new beginning, possibly going into a relationship here, being very cool, calm, collected, just embracing a lot of inner peace. That's what Sagittarius energy is all about. Peace, balance, harmony, self-control, okay, um, alchemy, knowing when to be in your emotions and, and when to take action, all right? when and how to use your own sacred wisdom and knowledge and how to apply it to your life. Someone is regretful of what they've done. This could be someone in your family. Doesn't have to be. But I feel like someone actually would like to admit that they've done something wrong against you. Because someone here, it's like, I feel like someone had a certain vision or dream that they wanted for their life or a certain type of lifestyle. And they're experiencing a lot of losses at this time because they tried to take something that belonged to you. Somebody definitely tried to walk, work against you. They may have wanted you to be fired from a job. They wanted someone to sue you they want they, they they wanted to bring some type of negative attention to you in hopes that you would lose something that you would lose money or that you would fail at something they wanted you to fail at this journey of going towards self-love because this journey to self-love is allowing you to have inner peace and it's making you a vibrational match like i said for good friends relationships is bringing in justice for you someone purposely did this to try and hurt or harm you or to block you or they hired someone else to do it or they like i said collaborated with others so you just need to be aware of that but look, cutting the deck, you have the sun and the nine of pentacles. So this is that crabs in the barrel energy. Like, I don't, I want to see you do good, but not better than me. This is someone who wants to keep their eye on you and be able to watch and monitor whether or not you're receiving the fruits of your labor. Someone has seen you work very, very hard and perhaps you are about to enjoy, you know, a very blessed and abundant life. You have this blossoming abundance. Maybe you are about to buy yourself something nice or have a more luxurious lifestyle. Maybe you're going on a trip, but it's a time for you to have joy and success. Your, your, your hard work is paying off and somebody is like, well, no, I don't want that for you. 
Instead, they want you to be in the Ten of Wands. They want you to have to work really hard or, you know, they want you stuck at work all the time so that you can't go out and network or you can't have a dating life or a love life. Somebody doesn't want you to have any type of balance in your life. Okay, this could be a boss for some of you, but look, you have the Ace of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles. So there is 100% some type of big financial breakthrough or blessing or abundance that's coming in. And you need to keep yourself in this energy of, of having this, this calmness about you and being at peace. The Ace of Pentacles is a windfall of abundance. It's good fortune. It's a career opportunity. It's a new contract. Okay, it's you pers possibly purchasing a home, a car relocating is something but it's good and it's going to last a long time you got a square in your circle right now so be careful six of wands here's a two of cups transformation wow the three of cups and then the ace of wands beautiful there's a partner your your partnerships and relationships are growing they're transforming you're going to have a lot of joyful announcements, a lot of good, exciting news is coming. Literally, there's about the transformation here with the two of cups and the three of cups and the ace of wands, six of wands. There's a significant relationship or partnership coming in. This could be in your career life. This could be romantic. But it's like someone here is about to have recognition, success. You're going to, you know, have awards. You're going to meet someone that's like-minded. You know, either this is a new relationship coming in or a relationship going to the next level. But these are really, really, like, big, significant changes that are happening. It's like now it's the time for you to take action. You're finally going to have an opportunity to do something that you're passionate about. Whether it's starting a business, you know, going back to school, actually pursuing a serious committed relationship, whatever it is. Or just, you know, it could be you just focusing on yourself, your own health, your healing, whatever the case is, though. The five of pentacles here. Look, look at this. Th this stress is coming from somewhere and it's lingering in the background. And here we have the queen of the queen of wands and the queen of cups. So you have two two feminine energies here. But look, you have the moon card. You have the Eight of Cups, the Eight of Swords, and the Five of Pentacles. So again, this is that shadow aspect. Someone is really, really in their head and deeply submerged in their emotions right now, and they are feeling trapped. Someone here is, is having a lot of negative thoughts and is manifesting into issues in their life because someone here has fears about money or fears about being alone or not having any friends, family, or support in the event that something may happen. Someone here is, is paralyzed with fear, lacking a lot of self-confidence. They're feeling helpless or hopeless almost. And somebody, for some of you, they're afraid that you're going to walk away from them. You need to be careful of this energy, though, because... Yeah. It's a red flag here or someone has already walked away from the person and they're in the background. Like someone is very concerned that you're not going to return. I don't think it's meant for you to return to this person, but you have the queen of cups here and the queen of wands. So this is two very different energies here. Someone here could be very like naturally just psychic while another person here is a very powerful manifester water sign fire sign two two you know powerful energies but very different and then the sun is here here's the nine of swords and the star and three of swords wow somebody is stressed out Somebody here could have been stressed out about a decision or someone is now disappointed in the decision that they made for perhaps a life partner. I just heard 
someone here chose someone and i don't think that the choice that they made it didn't bring them the balance and the harmony that they were seeking because mm -mm. the three of swords and the nine of swords is out here someone chose one of these feminine energies this could be a masculine and it, it's being the sun it's being Like this person's having an epiphany now that they chose wrong. Somebody was expecting the worst, I guess, when it came to dealing with you. And they opened this connection up possibly to a third party situation. And I feel like they chose the other person. They chose the other person. Now this person perhaps wants to move in a different direction, but the person that they chose is very upset and frightened about this connection being over. There's a, a, a feminine energy here who is being left behind or I don't know. It, it's uh, Some of you have a person that's trying to come into your life to take things to the next level or someone wants to return to you. There's a blockage here and interference though with another person. Somebody here for sure could have done some type of spell work or... Um, I'm getting like, I'm seeing a candle and it has the word control on it. So somebody could have done like a um, control spell where they wanted a person to not go towards like a divine feminine or masculine counterpart. They were really trying to make a connection seem wrong in an effort to keep someone to them. I feel like somebody here definitely with the homeless card and the stress card. Someone has done something to try to make a person take a loss in hopes that it will stop a person from moving forward. But what it did is it brought about a major transformation in someone's life. And somebody now wants to move in a totally different direction. So you have something here that someone possibly did with this full moon energy in Sagittarius especially. Sagittarius is also, to me, a, another um, divine union card, um, especially for, like, counterparts, you know, mirror people who are mirroring one another. Um, the yin and yang type of energy. Someone thought that they were going to throw something off kilter here and block the union of two souls or a reunion of two souls from coming together, but... I feel with this sun energy, something here is being illuminated. It's being highlighted about what this third party was doing to cause someone a stress, fear, and anxiety, or to feel in some kind of mental entrapment now that they've walked away from a situation. The Ace of Swords is here saying that someone now is overcoming whatever this issue, obstacle, or challenge is because they can truly see the, the truth. Something has been blended out. It's being the balance card here. That's temperance energy with the star and it's falling under the moon. So you have the moon, the star with the balance card here. So someone here can see uh, the shadow aspect of something or something that is karmic, it's low vibrational, and they can also see their destiny very clear. Someone here has a lot of faith in what the future is bringing and they're hoping that their dreams will come true. There's positive changes happening here because as someone was trying to confuse a person so that a situation will go in their favor this person is now all tied up because this strategy to change someone's journey to make a person indecisive because a person wants someone to chase them it backfired someone here could have been doing something with technology for sure 
trying to watch a connection. This person here is sorry now. The Ten of Pentacles is here. And with the Seven of Wands and the Ten of Swords. So you have Ten Ten here. With the Seven of Wands and the Seven of Cups. So this is the end of a lot of confusion. Also, someone has been stalking someone. This is the end. Someone, yeah, is, is stalking a person and trying to find the Five of Cups. Someone here is deeply in their feelings right now, focusing on the fact that a relationship or some situation didn't turn out that they, the way that they wanted it to. And instead of this person trying to forgive themselves and heal and see that, you know, maybe this breakup or this separation or whatever this is, maybe it happened for a reason. This person decided to send out a text and with the, the watching, the hacking, the stalking and the spying, sending all of this chaos, magic and the illusions. It has been blocked because someone is choosing to stand up for themselves because they see the truth of what's happening here. Someone can see that a person is trying to betray them right before they get to the Ten of Pentacles. Because it's very clear that this is what's coming in. So the Four of Swords is here. Wow. With the Hierophant and the Dreamer. So the Fool is saying right now to just rest, retreat, recuperate, heal. Someone wanted a person to be in this energy of being the Wounded Warrior. You need to allow yourself right now to rest, take time out to reset. You don't need to make any hasty decisions. Just allow situations to fall into place because the divine is here to help you see and understand what is truly best for you. And there's a new start here where you're being asked to really trust yourself. Put your fears aside. Don't worry about this situation. Whatever is happening in the background, you don't have to worry about it because the nine of cups. Wow. The nine of cups. You're going to be with the lover that is for sure your wish fulfillment. You're being asked right now to just release something. Yeah. For the four of wands. Very serious. Commit six of cups. There's a, a connection here. The lovers, the four of wands and the six of cups. This is the un, unbreakable bond here. The strength card. And somebody for sure, the Four of Pentacles, was doing everything to try to block this. The Queen of Swords, someone very, someone had a plan. But this, this Queen of Swords thought that they were going to play judge and jury. Yeah, this person felt like it was up to them. This could definitely be an air sign person. Someone here jealous, envious, very controlling who felt like they had the power to control the decisions that a person makes about their happy family. Someone saw that a person was standing their ground going towards a happy family and they wanted to turn this sun energy and this door to personal healing and happiness upside down. But someone has identified that was standing between them and their future is the projection that's coming from this person. But see, someone needs to stop talking to someone about their future plans because the person that someone is sharing their future plans with is going back to a community and there's a community of people possibly doing spell work on a masculine. Same stuff, different day, huh? Family. Someone is imagining a family. And I feel like someone is feeling damaged, betrayed, and like they've lost someone loyal to them. Or like they are somebody, somebody is ready to, I feel, put in the work to fight. With this vow card, I just feel like someone made a vow to someone. They made a promise to like really stand by someone's side. This could be a lover now. Like I see you as family. And a person now is a bit afraid that they're going to lose someone that they truly care for because of this, this third party energy here. Yeah. Someone is spiritually bullying a person. You have the bully card here. 
someone here is afraid that if some type of gossip or news or information or something embarrassing comes out that they're going to lose the the opportunity to have this family that they have been dreaming of or imagining but see this situation is going to backfire because whoever this bully is this person is really really trying to block something here but it's not hitting i'm going to say a divine feminine because the divine feminine should be in this energy of self-love and healing so when a person is trying to send you chaos and and stress and anxiety and have you lose things it's not going to affect you because the energy doesn't have anything to attach yourself to the fate card is here in memory Somebody could be relying on tarot readings. Wow. Somebody is sorry. They really are. Because someone here really tried to... Someone wants to be married or in a serious committed relationship. Someone here has tried to have... Literally has done magic to try to bind someone to have them imprisoned. So that they will not go towards this marriage that's going to bring them luck good fortune and i feel like now that I, I think about it someone here already heard in a tarot reading or something like that that a person was meant to be in a committed relationship they didn't want to hear it they want this person to be in a connection with them so this person has gone and done spell work or whatever they had to do to try to manipulate a situation or energy so that they would be the chosen person with a masculine here. And it didn't work. It backfired. Everything here is, is showing backfire energy. Wow. I was missing this card that goes with this deck and it's triumph. That's the confirmation. This card was still in the drawer. Wow. <laughs> confirmation. Someone here is going to have victory and success in a partnership. Two people have already made a promise, a vow to one another, spiritually perhaps. Somebody could even be engaged or married. There is somebody trying to come into this connection to block it. And this person is about to be embarrassed or humiliated for everything that they've done because it's going to come out. That someone tries to use magic to trap someone. Whatever this is, it's, it's going to be reversed and returned back. And like I said, it will be revealed that a person did this. I think it's going to be pretty obvious what someone has done. Or someone is going to have to sit back and literally watch a person be very happy with someone. There could be some type of conflict or disagreement either because of a fire sign or with a fire sign person. Fire is here. Somebody is refusing to let go. You have this Jezebel energy. Someone here in this very low vibrational type of energy. They're trying to tempt someone, but someone just feels like this connection is forbidden. They don't want it. Change. It says big changes are coming. Trust the process. There's a blockage being removed for two people to come into some type of union. Wow, family building a home. Two people could be building a home together or moving in together very soon. And someone here saying that they're sorry. I feel like for some of you, this is a situation where there's been a lot of confusion. Maybe someone thought that you were doing something to them or whatever. It's it's all of this stalking and spying energy here. You have obsessed and betrayal. 
and telepathy is here missing you self-sabotage dark night of the soul somebody here has done some heavy heavy spell work i'm getting on a masculine look at this affection and union coming together there is a masculine out here who feels like they're spiraling completely out of control because someone has been sending them telepathic like messages this person is obsessed with this masculine and this divine feminine. They've been sending this person a lot of fake messages and they're doing this telepathically, causing a lot of emotional turmoil, regret, and, and cause this person to kind of go into a period of self-sabotage but what spirit is doing is spirit is flipping it making this person actually face their fears because if this type of spell work is having this kind of effect on someone where they're beginning to self-sabotage then there that's a a clear indicator that someone needs to do some shadow work to get to the root of that issue so that they can no longer be attacked and antagonized by whoever this is that's sending these attacks so this is how this is going to flip in someone's favor what someone meant to hurt someone it actually helped them because now they're going to be left out in the cold completely the earth earth card is here in the reverse so this could be a, a capricorn taurus virgo and a fire sign here involved but someone here and this is a male's hand someone is putting their hand up and they're rejecting someone for sure someone is rejecting someone and i feel like they're going to be focusing on building their wealth and inviting their blessings and someone has already gotten the sign that a person I feel like somebody too has realized that a person definitely blocked their finances when they stopped dealing with someone and that has turned someone completely off because I'm hearing somebody say this is my livelihood but this person decided to just trust the divine and trust the, the process and they knew that God had their back now you have your flow surrender trust go with the flow and loyal there's a, a pat someone has passion for you Communication and romance. Wow. Unconditional love. Insatiable thoughts. Attraction. Someone is about to be showing you very soon within the next few weeks or the next few months that they love you unconditionally. And, and they're going to be able to admit that something was going on where it was making it very hard for them to trust this situation to go with the flow. This is due to a lot of spell work and magic that someone was doing in the background. And the person that was doing this was very dishonest very deceptive was obsessed someone here was gathering information from watching tarot and spying on someone on social media to see exactly what they were doing because this person misses someone now this could be a a karmic man or masculine doing this to someone or a karmic feminine take it however it resonates but whoever is watching either you or your person or both of you you have people who have been trying to watch and monitor what is happening in your romantic life by watching like I said, tarot readings, um, divination, spying, and other things, possibly asking friends and family, what exactly are you doing? What are you working on? Something is about to change in the next few weeks. Within the next few months, a lot of you will have a, a you know pretty solid relationship. But I feel that when this most recent attack came, or whatever somebody is doing right now, it's going to force somebody to face their old wounds. Someone here is is picking up the fact that especially around these moon cycles somebody is using like the power of three or there is a coven of witches or something like that that's doing some kind of spell work i feel like a person it has realized that there is indeed some type of dark force or an entity that's causing them to have this stalemate energy every single time someone gets a clear plan about a strategy to move forward they are all of a sudden bound somebody here is doing binding work on a person and they're also trying to cut someone's finances so that someone um is unable to really move forward especially in their romantic life yeah what i tell you the caring connections someone here's the world in the reverse someone does not want a connection to be over and someone sees now clearly that this is the reason why they've had financial constraints Somebody does not want someone to go towards the doors of romance or have the finances that's necessary for them to be comfortable. Yeah, somebody wants to turn someone's journey. 
their self-love, their healing journey, soulmate, twin flame journey, just upside down. And this person has been trying to remove someone's protection from them as well. But whoever this masculine is, all this masculine energy is a healer of the ages. This person is cool, calm, and collected. They are ready to love and be loved. The magician and the mirror is here. This person is a true alchemist. They're a healer. Maybe they're an earth angel. And it's them against this coven of, of witches or whomever that's doing all of this spell work here. And see, they see that this man already has his eye on someone and wants to offer love. So what this group of people did is they decided to bind this man's finances. This man is becoming aware of this. It forced him into a dark night of the soul, but that was good. That's what needed to happen because now this person knows exactly who to reject and why they're rejecting that person. This person is going to leave someone out in the cold, but I feel that unfortunately due to this spell work, this is a masculine who could have left a divine feminine out in the cold. It was from a lot of confusion, magic, and, and these control spells and this group of spiritual bullies. But see, someone is waking up now. They're going to be able to fight these attacks in the future. And somebody told whoever these witches are or whomever not to do this. They were stubborn and they didn't want to listen because they were just so set on receiving some type of gift. They didn't want to listen. This is this is backfiring, though. Because what they actually did is now they're going to push somebody into a very serious Commit a relationship. Ace of Pentacles. <laughs> Anything else? Thoughts. <laughs> Somebody here has tried to, like I say, bind a masculine this person is seeing very clearly who did this and you can expect this person to come in and be an official person if this person has had financial constraints or lost money they're going to get that back tenfold this person was in a, in a bad marriage or connection or contract with someone that they could have been working with and maybe they were expecting some kind of income. Someone has cut this person out of money. And now this person is concerned about why these individuals took this money or this opportunity. It's because this person has a new opportunity with a privileged lady whom, you know, he may marry or choose to live with, travel with, start a family with this person. There's a privileged lady here of high honor. So whoever this karmic feminine is for sure, this person is extremely jealous and intimidated by a divine feminine who is already a privileged lady of high honor on their own. This divine feminine has the attention, the thoughts, the affections of this, this masculine. So this, th there's a woman here in a group of friends or family or whatever who decided that they were going to imprison this man some type of way. So, but this mature man is going to be communicating soon that he wants a courtship. And if there's already an existing courtship, there's going to be a change made where he's going to be offering security and stability. Okay, so Siri, I'm gonna let uh -oh. me know if I can help. <laughs> Siri talking. Hold on, guys. Uh, it's me. Sorry, guys. <laughs> but yeah, um, there is a significant change coming here with security and stability. Yeah, someone here is receiving a message of concern. <laughs> That this main female is going to suffer an ending. And whoever they were getting help from is also going to be in poverty. So if this was like a, a mother figure and a daughter or um, 
an, an, an elder in the family who was helping someone to perform magic or something like that, especially money magic, whoever did this money magic is going to for sure face the same financial hardships and constraints that they were wishing for someone else. Someone literally, they, they definitely could have paid someone at a distance, maybe in the, even like in another country to do something to cause someone to face poverty. This is going to backfire. Mm -hmm. It's going to backfire. Someone's going to receive a message of concern that this whole operation is over because a lot of people I feel are about to start losing money. Even this practitioner. Somebody here is very intimidated by a divine feminine. And these people were holding money back from this masculine somehow. They was like, I'm going to hit you where you hurt, which is in this man's pockets. Ooh, that was bad though. Real bad. Because you saw the cards came, that came out. This man came out as the official part. Where is the cards at? Official person and wealthy man came out together. So no matter what this person, yeah. You can expect this person, official person and wealthy man, it came out together. These people wanted this person to have financial constraints. And this dark night of the soul is forcing this masculine to see exactly who is responsible for this. Now somebody is very much frightened for doing this magic. Because someone here could go to jail. Someone is going to be in poverty. Someone is going to face an ending. There's a thief here. And someone's going to be in really bad health for this. So someone will for sure receive a message of concern. This person who wants to be the main female, who keeps getting the help of an elder, possibly her mother, to do this spell work on this divine feminine. And they're doing womb magic on this divine feminine. They're going to pay for this. Money magic, womb magic, all, they're going to pay for this. Because this is someone here who was chosen and divine. The privileged lady of, of high honor goes, obviously, with the wealthy man who is official. They're supposed to be together and perhaps have a brand new beginning. This person wants to offer this, pers this um, feminine a gift of change that brings about security and stability. They may want to move in together, or like I said, just take their relationship to the next level. But someone here was working on trying to destroy a contract. That was the that was the goal. There was a plan to destroy this contract. It's a spiritual contract that these two people have. Anything else? Nine of Wands, stand up for what you believe in. Justice will be granted to this divine feminine high priestess. Do not back down. Stand up for what you believe in. Protect whatever you've created. Be prepared to fight for it. Don't give up. Because see, these people here, somebody could even be trying to go and take someone to court for something. If they did that, this is going to backfire. Someone is going to hate the day that they ever tried that because you have the justice system here. So someone definitely could have made some kind of false reports, false claims. Justice is here. So the scales have to be balanced. But the justice in the nine of wands is here. Both of these are saying to stand up for what you believe in. And... If you're acting out of integrity, you're going to win in this situation. And the high priestess is here. So I know with the high priestess and the justice card being here, somebody is doing something by the book. This isn't the time for you to take any kind of action. Just let this situation unfold naturally. With the high priestess, the high priestess doesn't take action. The high priestess just holds on to information. So this could even be somebody holding on to receipts. You don't have to say anything because I'm telling you whatever this situation, somebody, they're really going to get themselves in the hole real bad. It has already happened. You're just about to get confirmation about it. There's nothing that you have to do here. You, you, you Seriously.
Because somebody here was playing around with the law. <laughs> The weight card just almost popped out. So for some of you, right now, you're thinking about taking action. You don't have to. You do not have to. Uh -oh. Rejection. This rejection is actually divine protection. Look, financial challenges here. So somebody rejected you. Don't worry about it. Abundance is coming to you anyway. It's like spirit is telling you stay out of the way of something. You can expect the apology that you want. Yeah, someone has been on the spell work, rejected you or, or whatever the case is. Working less and having more fun will help strengthen your relationship. If this is a connection you're already in, this is going to go to the next level. Look, a new love or recommitment to love. Unhealed wounds are blocking forward movement. This was a lot of spell work. But for some of you, if this caused a, a separation... You needed this distance to bring clarity. Somebody needed to know who this enemy was around them because it's been a lot of confusion of, well, who who's doing this spell work? Where is it coming from? Is it from the person I'm dealing with or is it from the person from the past? Where is it coming from? Distance and this dark night of the soul has allowed someone to see the truth. Now someone knows who they need to protect themselves against. And I feel like the karma is going to also um, make it very clear who's doing what. Because someone is going to for sure take some major loss or have a fall from grace. Especially in their finances. And it's going to be very clear. Okay, now I see... Who has been working against someone? Now, someone here could be having financial challenges because of spell work. If that's the case, that's going to turn around. Their finances will improve. But someone here who was at the top of the wheel of fortune, they're going to quickly fall to the bottom because they're going to start losing things for doing this. Because somebody, I'm telling you, they were doing, um, buy, trying to bind someone's finances and their fertility. And yeah, <laughs> that's just not going to end well for this person. So just rest, retreat. There could have been a temporary standstill here or some type of rejection, but it was for your own protection. Spirit is saying you really need to stay out of the way of a situation, though, at this time. Just let it unfold. And it's going to unfold within the next few weeks. It's going to be very clear what's going on or what was going on in the background. And this needed to be revealed. So, again, though, um, romance. You guys could expect maybe like a really nice date or um, somebody needs to block a person. And, and now I feel that even if someone was, if a person was kind of on the fence about whether or not they should block someone, they're going to do it now and be very um, confident in their decision to block someone out of their life for good. This could even be like a friend, a family member, someone here, even if they have children, someone's going to be like, listen, there needs to be like a third party, um, like a mediator or someone to, you know, go between both parties, but someone is completely done with dealing with someone. And I, again, that's what needed to happen. To just cut out all of the confusion. There's been a third party interference here. Confusing someone for a long time. So someone is probably hiding the fact. That they do spell work. Or that you know of course. Nobody's going to tell you that they do spell work. But someone is hiding the fact. That they do spell work. Or they're paying for someone to do it. And they've been doing it a lot. But with this temperance energy. It's all being balanced out. So it's not working, which means now everything is going to backfire. So let's see. A few angel messages. <laughs> Take action. <laughs> Take action with romance, but we just saw it was very clear 
that someone needed to um, wait. I feel like this is someone else who needs to take action and know that there is something better when it comes to romance. Again, someone has been undecided about what to do or, or indecisive um, due to some type of illusions. And Spirit is saying, yeah, you need... I, this, is, this is two different energies. I, I can hear Spirit making it very clear. Somebody needs to reconsider... Like, if, if you feel yourself like, oh, you want to just walk away from something or someone, you need to reconsider and wait. But someone here needs to take action and get away from someone. Like, someone needs to take action to cut something or someone out of their life for good. Whether it's, it may not even be romance. It could be walking away from a job or whatever it is, a group of friends. It's something. Someone needs to take action. And then, on the other hand, if there's been a rift between you and someone else, you may want to reconsider and wait. There was a reason why some type of rejection happened and it was for your own protection. It was because of some type of third party interference here. In some cases, even like I said, spell work. Something here was not clear. Yeah, there's going to be a success. Yes, you can trust. There's a situation here that's going to happen in the near future that you can you can trust it. It'll, it'll be successful. So right now, if you're thinking that it's unlikely that something here is going to work in your benefit, Spirit is saying reconsider. Something is going to work, but someone had to take action or because someone took this action against you, it's going to be very unlikely now that you and someone or a situation that it doesn't work out. Yeah. You have here a year from now. Communicate clearly. Someone needs to communicate clearly that something is over. That their final answer is no. Because again, someone here tries to block someone's abundance and their opportunities. I don't think there's going to be a peaceful resolution between these two people. But there's going to be a peaceful resolution for you if you remain positive. And now you have within the next few months, within the next few weeks. So right now, be very assertive right now on working on yourself, connecting with your spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. But for some, if there is a legal situation here, if someone has cut someone out of something or made a false report or anything like that, if you're the outsider looking in, I'm going to say you're the person perhaps a divine feminine or mask and you've been rejected there's nothing for you to do but this person that's coming towards you they need to take action in getting the correct people legal team or whomever to be very assertive in communicating clearly what they need and this could be a legal situation that may not actually be wrapped up until next year but someone's abundance and their opportunities have been blocked. And it's because someone has not been taking action to communicate clearly and say that they are completely done. And it's that they haven't known the importance of them being done because they didn't know that this person was stabbing them in the back like this. Or, or doing binding work or spell work. Somebody didn't know that someone had a plan to set them up. They didn't know. 